What's up, you guys? Hey, just a really quick message from Spirit, um, who wants me to review essentially how um, I personally view extraterrestrial beings or other dimensional beings, rather. Okay, so um, we've got Nina here. Hi, Nina. <laughs> Um, okay, so basically, I can see lots of different things, and oftentimes when I see these different things, um, whatever kind of a being they are, they, they generally, I will see them, and then they may or may not speak to me. Usually, it's some sort of, like, telepathic communication, okay? They, they put a message into my head, or they will put a download into my head. Okay, so, um... Now that's not all beings, but um, like for instance, the first the first beings that I'm going to speak of are um, like ghosts. Okay, so ghosts for me, I see ghosts and they look like actual people. They look like actual physical people that you would be able to touch and you would be able to talk to. I've never actually tried to touch one, so I don't really know what that looks like, but they it looks like something that you could touch. Okay, so like... Um, it looks like a physical person. So like, for instance, I, um, this was years ago, but I was uh, picking up one of my girlfriends getting ready to go out and, um, I saw a woman, my, sorry, Nina's rubbing her face on the computer. <laughs> um, but, uh, I saw a, um, so my girlfriend, she had a, um, like one of those large windows in the front of her house, right? So I saw a pregnant woman walk across the, um, walk across that window. And, and when I walked into the house, I said, Hey, Pris, is your sister here? And she looked at me and she said, I don't have a sister. And I said, do you have a roommate or a friend or what? There was a pregnant woman who just walked by the window and she said, there's nobody else here. So that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. There was uh, two little girls who used to follow me. I used to walk down this farm path, and there were these two little girls who would always follow me, and they looked like little girls. They, it's weird. So, anyways, um, and I feel like most of the time you can tell if they are real or not. Is um, most of the time they won't talk to you. Okay. Um, all right. So next on the list, which Nina is sitting on. <laughs> come on, Nina. Good girl. Thank you, baby girl. You want to come over here by the camera so people can see you? Because you're so cute. Okay. The next one we're going to talk about, um, good girl. She's kind of behind the scenes here, but now we got her. Okay. Now the next one we're going to talk about our ancestors. Okay. Now for me, I have seen my ancestors in human form. I've seen them in animal form as well, like dragons. Um, I think that th this could also be like, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. So, um, when I see my ancestors and this could also be like, you know, extraterrestrial, like aliens as well, but, um, that that's another topic. Usually I will see them and it looks like space is pixelated differently in the area where they are. Okay. So it's like, I, I just don't know how else to explain it, really. But yeah, it's like the the what you are looking at, you may see a discrepancy in the pixelation of that area, and the discrepancy, the pixel, the pixelation discrepancy, so to speak, really, um, it it will show the shape of, for instance, a dragon. Like I had a huge fucking. You guys can believe it if you want to, or you don't have to. But I had a huge fucking dragon huge. I was mining for quartz in Arkansas. Okay. Um, there are a lot of dragons down there. Okay. I swear to you. And they're huge. I mean, bigger than you, like four or five houses huge. Okay. And I had this huge dragon head in my face and I'm like, why am I, why is my vision all blurred? Like, what is this? And I kind of like looked back and I was like, oh shit, it's moving. And it was, it was a dragon. Anyways, I've seen this as well with like, my spirit guides and ancestors, um, also, and, um, but the next one I'm also going to talk about is aliens, okay, for real, you guys, aliens, um, oftentimes they come to me, and it, it's, they're a little more visible, they're, and it looks like, they look like a fog, and it's very different from, like, the pixelated, the different pixelated, okay, um, image that I was describing before, but they come to me and they look like it's, 
yeah, I don't know how else to explain it. It just looks like condensation or fog or like a cloud or something like that, okay? And um, I have, and, and sometimes it billows at the bottom too, like this fog billows at the bottom and then it forms like that, that being. So I have seen grays, um, gray aliens. They were very short um, and they usually come in groups of like two or three, I think. Um, I have seen uh, Arcturians as well, um, and usually you can tell by their height, okay? And then just recently I've seen this new, like, white being, well, this was, this was a while ago, but I've seen, been seeing him again, sorry you guys, Nina's, Nina's messing with the computer, but, um, anyways, um, but yeah, so that's how I will see aliens. I also can read, um, like, the energy blueprints in areas as well when I, when I visit like homes or something like that. Like for instance, I used to live in a, um, like an older farmhouse that was built in the earliest, like I think 1900s. Okay. So it was, it was very, very old. Okay. Haunted. Absolutely haunted. By the way, if you have ghosts in your house, just ask them to be quiet if they're being loud. Cause this house ghosts used to party all the time in the parlor and, um, it, yeah. So which, later I found out that there was an alcoholic who had lived there. So that made sense. But anyways, um, I can also read like energy blueprints and, and past lives in spaces where I go visit. Okay. So like in this house, for instance, I used to see in this fog kind of vision, vision sort of, I used to see cats running around the house all the time. And it, like I'm, I said, it, it looked like a fog. Okay. So I'm kind of tying this in with the aliens, I guess. But, um, um, it, um, where was I going with that? Um, that's what that can look like as well. Okay. So, but anyways, with this house later then I found out that the house had actually been condemned for a little while and there were like, it was like, there were, there were cats that lived there. There were like 10 to 20 cats that just lived in this house. So that was pretty cool. So, okay. The other one. Oh, fairies. I have seen fairies. You guys, I have seen angels as well. Angels come as like bright lights, but fairies, um, fairies look to me, they look like, so I've seen fairies. Um, I've seen them in a few different ways. Okay. But usually if they will come to you while you're, um, like sleeping or obviously you're not sleeping, but you're, you're getting ready to go to bed or you're, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night or something like that. And, and, um, but anyways, I have, they look like little colorful lightning bugs. Okay. I don't know how else to explain it with like big faces though. It's almost like when I saw fairies, I think they were like, there were three of them. They were blue. There was like a blue light a green light and a pink light. I'm almost positive. This was a little while ago, but it was like, um, there's a few other ways that you can see fairies too. Like fairies can look like that if they're really trying to be present and show themselves. Um, but I feel like there are other ways to see fairies. So th this is just my, my experience. Okay. Um, because I've seen them in, in other ways that I, I honestly can't even really describe it. So, but that's what fairies look like. Um, with the astral plane. Um, okay. So if you feel like somebody is watching you on the astral plane or from the astral plane, if they're, that's usually like shadow people. All right. Um, or somebody that you might see out of the corner of your eye. Okay. Those are usually in my experience, those are either our spirit guides watching us. It could be, um, or not, not our spirit guides. I can't say that. It's more of like, um, like a physical human who's alive currently and who may be connected to us in some way and who is a guide in that way, they may come through the astral plane and watch you in that way. Okay. So, and those look like shadow people, shadow humanoids. Okay. Um, this is also, um, this can also be people who are karmics who are trying to spy as well. So, um, usually if they are a karmic who is trying to spy, they don't want to be seen. So that's my understanding though, of course. Um, you guys, everybody's experience is different. So just, you know, take what resonates for you. But, um, 
I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I really wanted to share. Um, I think that's it. Oh, with fairies and angels and things like that. They also, and any of these beings, honestly, they can project an image into your head of what they look like. Um, and they can, and that's usually how they will try to communicate with you. It's not, they don't usually use their their mouth if that makes any sense even though I'm clairaudient and I can hear things it's usually they they will try to put something in my third eye for me to understand and that's how they will communicate so um anyways you guys I just thought I would share be careful on the astral plane though obviously but but I but for me these beings usually just come came to me and would visit me you know what I mean so it's not like I was trying to summon anything or, or anything like that but um yeah, and I don't know why I feel like I need to say this message, but I love the Fae, and it is my understanding that they're kind of like angels for the earth and for the animals, so I don't know, I feel like the, the Fae wanted me to say that, and now Nina's looking at me, so I think that that was a message that needed to come out. So, um, yeah, all right, I'm sending you guys so much love and light, and I hope that this helped anybody, and um, let me know your experiences down in the comments, too. I'd love to know, okay? All right, sharing is caring, you know? All right, sending you guys lots of love. Thanks for being here.